Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of, Game of Thrones Explained. In this video, we're going to be talking about the ruthless and cunning queen, Cersei Lannister. Now, if you've been a fan of the show from the very beginning, you know that Cersei has always been a force to be reckoned with. She's cunning, manipulative, and will stop at nothing to get what she wants. But as we've seen throughout the series, she's also not afraid to use brute force and intimidation to get her way. So, in this video, we're going to be discussing Cersei's rise to power, and how she's managed to maintain her iron grip on the Seven Kingdoms. We'll also be looking at some of the strategies she's used to keep her enemies in check, and how she's managed to outmaneuver some of the most powerful players in the game. First of all, let's talk about Cersei's rise to power. When we first meet her in the show, she's the queen consort to King Robert Baratheon. But as we quickly learn, she's not content to just be a figurehead. Instead, she's constantly scheming and plotting to gain more power and influence. One of the ways she does this is by manipulating her husband and her children. She's able to use her influence to sway Robert's decisions, and she's also able to use her children as pawns in her own political game. For example, she uses Joffrey's sadistic nature to her advantage, and she also uses her younger son Tommen's kindness and innocence to further her own goals. Another way Cersei has gained power is through her connections to the Lannister family. As the daughter of Tywin Lannister, she has access to a vast network of resources and allies. She's also able to use her family's wealth and influence to bribe and coerce other players in the game. But perhaps most importantly, Cersei is willing to do whatever it takes to maintain her power. She's not afraid to use force and intimidation to keep her enemies in check and she's also not afraid to use dirty tactics to get what she wants. For example, she's responsible for several murders and political assassinations throughout the series, and she's also not above using her own children as weapons to get what she wants. So, how has Cersei managed to maintain her iron grip on the Seven Kingdoms for so long? Well, one reason is her ability to adapt and change her tactics as needed. She's constantly learning and adapting to the changing political landscape, and she's always one step ahead of her enemies. Another reason is her ability to build alliances and make deals with other players in the game. She's not afraid to make compromises and concessions in order to further her own goals, and she's also not afraid to use her wealth and resources to bribe and coerce other players. Finally, Cersei is able to maintain her power because she's willing to take risks and make bold moves. She's not afraid to make difficult decisions, even if it means going against popular opinion or risking her own reputation. So, there you have it. That's Cersei Lannister's guide to ruling with an iron fist. Whether you love her or hate her, there's no denying that she's one of the most powerful and influential players in the Game of Thrones. And as we saw in the final season of the show, she's not afraid to do whatever it takes to maintain her power and protect her family. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button.